Now, despite perhaps a muted atmosphere at the nomination centres this morning, there's no lack of talking points thanks to some last-minute changes. Let's discuss this with uh, news editor Zakia Hussein. Zaki, I know it's been a long day for you, so thank you so much for joining us. DPM Heng Sui Kit leaving Tampanese to contest uh, East Coast GRC. Now, of course, East Coast is widely seen as one of the toughest fights in this GE. Do you think the inclusion of a DPM Heng will lead to less of a neck and neck fight with the WP this time? Yes, I think it will. And I think um, our sense from speaking to some residents and observers on the ground is um, it's suddenly made voters think twice, and I think it's, it's shored up the East Coast PAP slate. Um, it had, you know, the team there had a strong 64% of the vote in the 2015 election. Um, but this time round, I think, um, you know, it's, it's, an even it, it's an even stronger team. And I think uh, DPM Heng explained why he felt, you know, he had to, to be there and, and help shore the team up. Um, the MPs and the team have been working the ground, um, but you know they, they've, uh, there's been some change. And uh, two senior members, um, former Minister Lim Sui Se and Mr Lee Xian, are leaving, um, stepping down. And I think DPM's addition to the team uh, does bring a bit more, and I think give voters more room to consider their vote. Now, Zakir, what do you make of the ministers moving to different constituencies? Uh, for instance, you know, Desmond Lee moving from Jurong to West Coast to go up against Dr Tan Cheng Bok and the PSP. I think, again, it's a sign that the PEP is taking some of these contests uh, quite seriously. Mm. Um, again, West Coast, um, actually, it's always had two ministers for some time. They, there was former trade and industry minister Lim Hang Kiang uh, helming the team at the last election. Now he stepped down. Um, and perhaps the inclusion of uh, up-and-coming minister Desmond Lee is again another signal of the seriousness with which um, the party sees this contest. Uh, minister Lee as well has been in charge of many of the initiatives to do with social assistance, especially during the pandemic, and he's uh, quite a recognisable face to many of the voters. His former constituency as well, uh, Jurong, was quite near, and I think well, he, he's been involved at several activities in the constituency now. Okay, well, we've talked about uh, East Coast, West Coast as well. What are some of the other notable outcomes for you from today? I think what's interesting is um, some of the single member constituencies mm -hmm. are seeing some very interesting fights this time around. Um, it came as a surprise, but, um, you know, uh, Singapore's first woman, Brigadier General Gan Xiao Huang, uh, turned up at the nomination centre and she's standing as, an, as a single um, candidate for Marymount single seat. It's a new seat carved out. It was former Minister Josephine Teo's ward and she's been walking around the area as well. Um, but no one really expected her to come up and she's up against uh, again former um, army colonel Ang Yong Guan who has been in opposition politics for over 10 years now. Um, again in another, in another single seat, Yeo Chu Kang, you have a first timer uh, standing for the first time um, Mr. Yip Hon Wing, he's been active in the Silver Generation office, basically going around the country explaining to seniors, you know, um, some of the help schemes and medical schemes available to them. Uh, Mr. Yip is again standing as an independent, sorry, he's again standing independently as a single candidate in Yochu Kang, and he'll be up against uh, Kayla Lowe of the PSP, who again was a former public servant, but who's also not unfamiliar to community work. Well, thank you uh, for taking the time today, Zakia. We'll be checking in with you, of course, in the coming days as campaigning is officially underway. We've been speaking with The Straits Times' news editor, Zakia Hussein.